Hi and welcome to my sixth tutorial. My name is Khalid and today I'll be teaching everyone how to create a navigation bar with separators and links. Um, open up Adobe Photoshop CS3. Click on File, New. And I'm going to use a preset that I've already uh, made which is uh, 900 pixels by 400 pixels in height. You can name this name this navigation navigation bar and click on OK and once you have your new document made press and hold the control shift and N key on your keyboard and name the layer navigation bar click on OK once you've done that make sure foreground is set to black and then press alt delete on your keyboard and fill in your new document with the color black and now let's add some blending options click on gradient and I'm going to use this goldish gradient that I've created and uh, after that you want to choose the horizontal type tool make sure your font is set to Arial, regular it's set to uh, 10 points sharp the back uh, with the font color of uh, white and make sure it's aligned to the left now we'll type in make sure the cap key is on the caps key is on type in home and then uh, on your keyboard press the spacebar 20 times to give your uh, your font some space and the last one will name it contact uh, next thing you want to, do, want to do is align your font layer with your navigation bar layer uh, go up to the move tool make sure you click on move then align uh, vertical centers align horizontal centers and now go to your layers palette and select your font layer and choose blending options and we'll add a drop shadow of one and uh, the distance is set to one and the size is set to one and make sure the angle is at 120 degrees with uh, use global light uh, selected click on OK after that you want to choose your pencil tool and then create a new layer control shift N on your keyboard and name this layer separator make sure the cap key is off separator and then click on OK now choose your pencil tool hold down the shift key and then just drag down and now press the D uh, the D key on your keyboard and make sure you hold down shift key oops sorry undo that hold down the shift key and then drag down and set the opacity to about 25 now zoom out and as you can see you have your uh, separator uh, and now you want to align your separator so click on the move tool zoom in It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. So it's approximately 53 pixels from home and forums. So we want to to align the separator in the middle of home and forums. So we can do this by pressing the shift key on your keyboard 
using the left and right arrow keys. So that's 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. I'm sorry, let's start that over again. It's 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's about right in the middle. Then go to your layers palette and then click on Control J to duplicate the layer. Then zoom in on your document. And then use uh, while holding down the Control key. I mean, sorry, the Shift key. Then you then uh, press and hold the right arrow key. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll bring it right in the middle. Then again, go to your layers palette. Control J to duplicate the layer. It's 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 is about the middle right there. Then go back to your layers palette. Control J. Then hold down the shift key and the right arrow. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's about right there in the middle. Then go back to your letters palette, Control J. Go back to your document. Then align this one 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or about 6. That's about in the middle of ranks and contacts. And once you have your your separators, your, once you're done with your separators, zoom in in your document and now choose the slice tool. We'll name this slice home and this is used specifically for um, images I mean this is used for slicing your images and each image will show up on your HTML page that you create. Click on OK. Members. Downloads. Ranks. And last but not least, contacts or contact. And then zoom out to 100% by pressing Control Plus or, or Control Minus on your keyboard. Then go to up to File, Save for the Web and Devices, and uh, make sure one of these presets is selected. I'm going to use a uh, GIF 128 D3 and make sure you press Control A to select all your images then click on save save this as navigation bar HTML make sure save type is set to HTML and images settings default and uh, slices is all slices. And click on save. Now minimize Adobe Photoshop CS3 and then click on your navigation bar and as you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six sliced images including the separators and then um, my next my next tutorial will be will show you how to uh, create uh, rollover images and also images uh, with links. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Khalid. Have a great day. Bye-bye.